Hello and welcome. My name is Samantha Rubinson, and I am the Nevada Site Stewardship Program Coordinator. I'm here to tell you a little bit about how to fill out photo logs. To get started, we will go to the Nevada Site Stewardship Program website and look at the monitoring reports and other stewardship paperwork page. If you scroll down on this page, past the monitoring forms, you will see photo logs. Here we have the photo logs in multiple different formats so that you can use whichever one you are most comfortable with. If you are a Mac user, I would recommend using the PDF form or you can use the rich text form. However, the rich text form is a little less intuitive than it then would be easy to use. So um, I would give both a try and then see what you're most comfortable with. On this page as well, if you scroll up to where the monitoring ports are, there's something that says MR tips and MR examples. There are copies of the photo log in the examples. So you can see some examples of what the photo log should look like. And there are tips for the photo log as well in the MR tips page. To explain the photo log itself, we will have to go back and look at how we take photos when we are at the sites. When you go to your site, you will be taking a couple of different types of photos. You'll be taking baseline photos, which is a record of all of the resources at your site. So you'll take pictures of all the different features, of the trail, of where you parked, all of that. And those will go together as your baseline photos the first time you go out. After that, you'll be taking photos of impacts at your site, impact photos, and those will be specific to any sort of damage or change that you are reporting on. You're not expected to take your baseline photos every time you go out. We more recommend that you take them once every two or three years, just so you have an updated view of them. But otherwise, those baseline photos will be for you to be able to review and show how things have changed between your impact photos and your baseline photos. When you're actually at the site, you're gonna take overview photos. So photos of the whole site and then feature photos, which are photos of individual parts of the site. And the reason why you want the overview photos is to put your individual parts into a context, to be able to say, these two structures that we see here um, are related to each other by looking at this photo, this overview photo that shows us how close and far they are and what their relationship is. So the only way we understand what these two structures are there, how they exist and interact is by looking at that overview photo. Now we're gonna go over what's in the photographic log. First things you're gonna find in a photographic log are the site name and site number. These two items come from your site assignment form, which you were given when you were first assigned to the site. If you do not have a site assignment form, please contact the NSSP office and we will happily send you a new one. Then we need to know who took the pictures and when. If you could please make sure you fill out the photographer's name and the date the photos were taken, that would be very appreciated because sometimes our monitoring reports and photo logs get separated and this information is the key information for putting them back together. Now I'll go over what you need for each individual photo. Your image name slash number is whatever the file name is for that photo. It does not need to be renamed to one or to, or to anything else or panel three, photo two, it doesn't need that. You could just use whatever your camera or your, or your phone named it at the time. Impact photos means that there is damage or major change at your site that you noted in your monitoring report that you want us to look at. We ask for the impact level to be checked or impact photo to be checked whenever you do this because sometimes the stewards will take 50 different photos and only one or two of them actually show that damage, and this tells us which ones they are. Photo description. This tells us what the photo is of and where it is within the site. Your photo description is really key for us understanding what is going on in your photo. Uh, sometimes we look at them and we don't quite recognize it because we have never been to that site 
and do not know what is supposed to be there and what is not supposed to be there. So please explain in your photo. So the first photo I took was a photo of the whole site from the trailhead. So it told you where I was and what I was taking a picture of. The second one is more specific about an impact. Scratch graffiti is at above panel one. It tells us where scratch graffiti is and what kind of graffiti it is. And that's very descriptive and very helpful. Whenever law enforcement goes out to your site, they're gonna go out to try to refine where that impact was. And they're gonna use your photo log to help them. So we wanna give them as much information as we can so that they can easily find that particular damage again. So direction of view is very helpful because it tells them that they need to be looking for something where if they are facing south, the thing that they are looking at is it's gonna be right there. So it means that they don't have to go and look at every different side of a boulder. They know that which side of the boulder they need to be standing on. It helps them even more if they have a GPS coordinate. I do understand that a lot of stewards don't have GPS units or don't know how to use the GPS units. That is okay. If you don't have a GPS unit, just be more descriptive in your description of the photo so that we know where the photo was taken. If you do have a GPS unit, you can utilize either UTM NAD83 or longitude and latitude or any another different coordinate system of your choice. Just let us know what coordinate system you were using and then list the coordinates. That helps us and it does help law enforcement as well so they know which coordinate system to set their GPSs to. Once you are finished with your monitoring report and photo log, put those together with your photos and upload them to our DB Gallery website. If you need information on how to do this, please look at the Nevada Site Stewardship Program website. And underneath where the photo log information is, you will find DB Gallery directions and a video on how to do it. If you need login information, please contact the NSSP office and we are happy to send it to you. Otherwise, I hope that this system and all of these videos that we have done help you in making it easier for you to submit photos and all the information that goes with them. And I look forward to seeing your reports.